Hello? Hi. Hi, how are you doing today? Doing good. Um, this is Ryan and Wyatt from Twin Paranormal. Rachel had given us your number. Yeah, she told me you were going to call. Oh, cool. Perfect. We just wanted to know if you had any time so that we can maybe interview you on the phone and find out, you know, the experiences maybe you've had at the uh, Cutthroat Brewing Company? Absolutely. My name's Dania Boy, and I've worked on and off at the Cutthroat for, I guess, pushing 19 years now. Oh, wow. Wow, that's a long time. From what I figure, there's like three different things in there. There's the one that does a lot of stomping around, and he moves bottles around and stuff like that. For some reason, we call him Jack, and I don't even know why. I think somebody must have told me that's what they called him. And then there's the lady upstairs, who we call Sophie, because we never had a name for her, but people have seen her, like, in the windows and stuff, and you could just kind of feel that presence. And uh, one day, I took my friend up with her young granddaughter, who was uh, maybe a year and a half, just starting to walk and talk. And as soon as I opened that third floor door, this little girl was playing with somebody, and she was called Sophie, Sophie this, and Sophie that. And I asked my friend, she said she didn't know anybody named Sophie. So that's how she got her name. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> yeah, so that was pretty crazy. And then whatever's downstairs, I don't know, it scares the hell out of me. <laughs> And you're, you're talking about um, down in the basement, correct? Yes, yes. So we used to have our beer cooler down there, and I'd go down to, you know, bring up beer to stock. And I was down there one day, and it always gives me the creeps down there, so of course I leave the door open. And there was plenty of people in the bar that I knew, and I'm down there stacking beer on the stairs, and the door slams shut. And something grabbed me around the neck so hard that I couldn't scream. And I couldn't get away for, I mean, it seemed like a really long time. It's probably 30, 40 seconds, but it seemed like a lot longer. I bet. And when it let me go, I just went bolting up the stairs, and everybody up there was looking at me like, what the hell happened to you? <laughs> <laughs> wow. And so I've never gone down there by myself again. I'd always make somebody go with me. Wow. Actually, that's like basically what we needed, and, and we thank you so much. I mean... Do anything else to help you out? Uh, please let me know. Cool, Perfect. thank I'm, you so much. I'm sure we'll be back there real soon. Fantastic. Well, like I say, feel free to call again if you need any more information. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you. We really appreciate you. Well, boys, dude, guys, that was the woman that dude, got okay, that's okay, the one that got downstairs. choked. So, guys, Nick is on his way, and we're gonna do the history. But some of the stuff that we had found talks about this woman. Yeah. about how she went downstairs and she had gotten locked downstairs and choked. I didn't know this is who we were, we were I in, not interviewing. That. No, I did not expect that at all. Oh. no idea. That's awesome. Literally when she brought up that story, I had chills all over my body, dude. I was like, this is the lady, dude. This is her. That's crazy. Let's just wait for Nick. What's up guys, welcome to a brand new series. We actually just personally got invited to investigate a super creepy location that has so much history and a whole bunch of stories that go back well over a century. Guys, this is gonna be amazing. Let's get to the history. In 1862, the Fisk Hotel was built in Silver Mountain City. Now, in 1861, the Silver Mountain cities, the population grew to over a thousand people because it was a very popular area for silver and whatnot. The Fisk Hotel was built in 1862, and it was one of the largest and most, like, nicest hotels in the area. Within 10 years, the population died down to about 200, and the place stood the entire time up until 1885, when the building was actually dismantled board by board and moved not far north to a place called Markleyville, where the building was rebuilt, and it still stands today. Over this whole time, the buildings changed names multiple times to multiple different names. It was the Hot Springs Hotel, and it was the Alpine Hotel, so on and so forth, to its current name, the Cutthroat Brewery. So some stories we've been told, employees regularly get touched, they get kind of harassed, objects in the bar end up getting moved around, bottles will spin on the shelf and get defaced, 
certain things up in the attic will move around. There's an old story from years ago where they had a bunch of chairs stored up there and the old owner would line them up against the wall and every time he would go up there, they'd be in a perfect circle. Wait, I didn't even know that. That's they'd, crazy. Yeah, he that's... put them back against the wall and almost <laughs> every day that he went up there, they'd be right back in that perfect circle. What about the story that the owner told us about what they have up there today? Do, hasn't like stuff still happened in oh, that attic? So when we actually did a quick walkthrough up in the attic, so they had ordered more bar stools and when we went up there, all of the boxes, they were all stacked up nice and neat besides one box. It was literally laying in the middle of the whole attic probably a good like 25 feet away from oh, yeah. the rest. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. She had said she didn't touch it nor did her partner or anybody. And she's like, "Okay, that's weird." This is weird. I don't know why this is... They're all stacked up perfectly. Wait, really? Yeah. There's no way like Was that stacked on there? It was on one of them. They were all just in a bundle stacked. I haven't been up here for days. So a couple of other things. Recently, people have been seeing apparitions in the building. There was a man that was seen right behind the bar in the corner, just kind of standing there all menacingly, and that of a woman as well. So there was an electrician in there recently redoing some lighting, and when he walked out of the women's bathroom, I believe it was, he looked out of the corner of his eye and turned around and saw a full-blown apparition of a lady standing there, and it freaked him out so bad he got scared and like left. And when he came back and told the owners about his story, they, they kind of freaked out a little bit themselves. Yeah, I mean, they, they did believe it because they had also seen that male figure that was down the hall right next to the sign that's uh, hung up on the wall. So as far as the upstairs goes, there's, I guess you could call it three floors to this building. Yeah. In the upstairs, there's stories of the same woman that I was talking about earlier. She's seen wearing heels, and it's said that she can be heard upstairs in the room above the main entrance area, it used to be the honeymoon suite, and you can hear her pacing around in her heels. And the owner actually contacted us not that long ago and told us that the cops called her and said that the suicide windows on the outside of the building were completely open. And they had been locked up for hours and nobody in that building since they closed that day. That's scary. Yeah, so you don't even use the upstairs, it's just offices. And they had just... actually thought that somebody had broken in and found out that, you know, it was nobody who had broken in, nothing was stolen just or anything. Like... And so they just kind of, you know, it came down to them being like, okay, it, it's gotta be one of the spirits in this place because they are capable of doing that. So not long after they rebuilt the building in Markleyville, there used to be a painting that hung on the wall next to the door to the basement. And it was a painting of, I guess you could call it more of like a famous horse, just loved by everybody there. It hung there for like forever. People would say that they'd be in the bar and they'd hear the sounds of like a horse whinnying or crying down in the basement. The funny thing is that picture is no longer there and nobody hears that anymore. So another thing is once they moved this building into town, it would get so snowy during the winter over there that people could not travel out of town once they were sick to go and, and basically see a doctor to start feeling better. And so they had some local doctors that would stay in town and they actually had used the hotel as a, uh, I guess you could say part-time like doctor's office or, or hospital. The creepy thing is the basement used to be used as a part-time morgue, which is why we are thinking that this basement is full of just malicious and just weird evil spirits that have the power to choke somebody and close the door and, and basically lock somebody in the basement. All I gotta say is thank you guys for letting us investigate this location. You guys are super amazing for contacting us personally and we're ready. We are ready to take this place and find out what is really lingering around this building and we got you. You guys excited. excited? Yeah, I'm excited. Let's get going. Let's go investigate. All right, guys, we are inside the Cutthroat Brewing Company in Markleyville, California. Right off the bat, as soon as we got here, we wanted to do a quick little test. Um, I had mentioned to Wyatt that I wanted to put a ball at the top of the stairs just to see what would happen. And literally, we have the clip. Yeah, we, we actually put the night vision, Wyatt's idea, he wanted to put a night vision there. So we do have a clip of the baseball 
getting pushed down. We tried to debunk it as well, but it looked like it had gotten kicked. You guys ready to investigate? Yeah, let's do it. Let's kick this off. If there's anybody down here with us right now, make yourself known. Use your energy and speak to us through this device that I'm holding in my hand. Is there anybody here with us? We're here. That was legit right here. And I feel it. I think something just shushed us too. I got really cold all of a sudden. It was all really hot here. It was really hot in here. If you're here, do you see the baseball at the top of the stairs? Just got shushed again. I'm pissed. Knock that baseball down. There's a baseball at the top of the stairs. Knock that baseball down. We heard that there's a man that likes to hang out down here. And a woman. Did anybody hear that step right there? I had heard it say left. And then I heard like a, a, a footstep right here. Literally right here. The ball! The ball! The ball! The ball. Thank you! It's going, it's going, it's going. Thank you! It's okay. It's okay. Literally right here. The ball! The ball! The ball! Thank you! It's going, it's going, it's going. Thank you! It's okay. It's okay. Are you up there? Are you up there? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, give me one second. Grab this. Go ahead, guys. I'm going to make sure this camera was filming, okay? Okay. Let's go now. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Did you do that for us? Good. We caught it. We caught it. Did you just knock down that baseball for us after I had asked? I'm already getting like instant as soon as we start investigating here. Dude, that was up there for like an hour. We were just setting up for like an hour and we kept, well, I kept checking Wait, on you, it. You filmed us uh, stomping next to Yes, right? I did. Yes, I did. No movement. And, okay. that, and we already had tried to debunk it, guys. I went by myself too a couple times and checked it. It was solid for a straight hour. Who's here with us tonight? What are we doing here? What are we doing here? Where are you? In back. As we were asking our questions towards the front of the building, one of our night vision cameras pointing towards the back door had picked up what looks like a man coming in through the back gate into the building looking like he had gotten spooked hearing that we were inside. Now at first, that's what we had thought until further investigation. If you look close, this man-like figure starts to form his body and then his head right after. Then he turns his head facing our direction before exiting out the back door. Now giving this male-like figure a close closer examination, it appears as if he has a black beard and black hair. Also, you can see the side of the back door straight through what looks like his body. Did we just catch the male spirit that's been seen lurking around in this building by some of the workers? Are you back here? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's that for? Where are you? That was upstairs or down here, but that was two loud creaks on the wood floor. Guys, I just saw a shadow. Guys, I thought I did too. Did you see? You saw it? You saw yeah, it? I thought I did. Guys, 
I saw a freaking head right here. This shadow right here. It had to have been this close. See it? Mike's really? shadow? Yeah, River was facing that It was that, that close. It was that close. There's a little alcove back here. Did we just see you? So. If you're here, make a noise. Whoa! Did you guys hear the footsteps right behind River? Did you hear those? Are you in here with us? Dude, I, I can't believe that baseball fell. I'm amazed how active this place is. It happened again. Right away. And so when Nick came in, he didn't believe it at first until we had shown him the footage. And then it happens again. So now we know something is definitely here with us, for sure, okay? Now we just want to know who is here with us. Sophie, are you in here with us? Yeah. Use your energy. Put yourself into this device. We're kind, we're here to help. Just let us know that you're here. Who was it that knocked over that baseball down the stairs? What? Will. Derek. Did you hear that? Yeah. Me. Me. Can somebody pull on one of these chairs for us? Pull on one of these chairs. Use your energy. If there's anybody here with us, make a noise. Oh my god, I have the fattest chills right now. Nick, hold this one. Did you? Yeah. I'm gonna put this baseball back upstairs if you could knock it over for us once more. For the third time, that would be awesome. Thank you. I'm just setting the baseball right here. Knock over that baseball. Seems like they like to give it some time. No movement. No. Is there somebody up there? Go ahead, knock this baseball down once more. Come on, push it right to me. Give it a kick. Don't worry, I was just stomping around. Just have fun. Oh my god. That sounded like something knocked down in there. Okay. Are you in there? Nothing could have fallen. It sounded like legit something fell off a shelf. Knock that baseball down. We hear you upstairs. Use your energy. Kick that ball. Or you can talk. No, 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 no. Oh! Sorry. <laughs> Did you scary. just see it go down? I watched it. 
I was watching it. Crap, it was man. slowly moving. So oh, everybody's gonna make fun of me for that one. It's slowly moving. You scared moving. me, right? Oh, yeah. dude. Did you have the camera on him? Yeah, you did. I tried. Oh, man, I think I missed it. That didn't. Night vision behind you. Use your energy. Kick that ball. Or you can. No, 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 no. Ah! Sorry. I'm sorry, it, it just really scared me because it caught me off guard. It really did. I tried not to yell and scare you, but I couldn't form words. But you legit just saw it roll? I was watching it. I was training it with my eyes. I saw like the stitching on top and I saw it slowly like start to turn. I saw the white up top. I was like, wait a second. Are my eyes playing a trick on me? But no. Then it just came. Oh my God, dude. Thank you. Dude, look. Good God. Legit, dude. Film your hand. So what do you say? Is it confirmed something's here with us? I do. That, that is the third time. That something has pushed this first, baseball down. That's Dude, the I, first I need, time. I need to take a break for a second. I'm legit shaking like crazy. I want to see that. Yeah, I'm feeling really weird. We're going to go to the nerve center real quick and go and review this. All right, you guys ready? Yeah. So this is our first time seeing the footage. It, is, it sounded like legit something fell off a shelf. Knock that baseball down. I don't know what that noise was. That was your camera. That was the rubber feet on your Wait, tripod. what? That was the rubber feet on your tripod squeaking. Are you sure? Yeah, that was right here. Something squeaked. That, that was wasn't in the video? No. That was right what here. Something. Mean? That was something squeaking. Okay, you want to watch this? Yeah. Don't yeah. be afraid. We hear you upstairs. Use your energy. Kick that ball. Oh yeah, I was doing this in a minute. Or you can tell. Ah! Sorry. It went right in between my legs. Did you guys see that? What the? It literally went right Did between my legs. Did you just see? Ugh. Watch. It was as I was throwing the thing back around my neck too. Of it's okay. We have two. We have three angles, guys. Three angles because we have the camera up top. Use your energy. Kick that ball. And we ball. have night vision and then rivers. Or you can tell. Ah! Sorry. Right through my legs. Yeah, I got so scared, Did you scared, just dude. see it go down? I watched it. I was watching it. <laughs> you were like so in shock, moving. dude. So, well, I think it crazy. legit happened right in front of us, so... I mean, we have footage of, of stomping. Oh, yeah. We t had tried to debunk it, man. Alright, guys, so... After we just reviewed that footage, we had decided that we're going to split up and Wyatt and Nick are going to go sit right down over there uh, where the man was seen and then River and I are going downstairs in the basement where one of the workers had actually been physically choked. So I think that's what we're going to do, right? Mm -hmm. We're just going to split up and hope for the best. Nick doesn't really want to split up because he's already pretty jumpy, he said. So yeah, I don't know why. We'll see. We'll see. Don't know. Good luck. You too. ITC Legion arrow is loaded. Scanning. Okay, we're running perilous. Feeling. Feeling. Feel free to talk to us. We heard that somebody had gotten choked down here. Why don't you put your hands on me? Alright, I'm gonna be using Necrophonic still. Power on. I feel weird down here. Yeah, me too. If there's anybody down here with us. This. What's your name? Is there anybody there with us? One of the co-workers was choked down here, was it you? If, if it was you... 
I was a kid. Sophia, are you down here? Can you come talk with us? What? Are you down here with us? Yes. What are you doing down here? I've heard you like to play pranks on the people that are working here. Moving the bottles at the bar and messing with the glasses. Can you do that for us? Somebody had choked one of the co-workers down here. Are you here because your body was getting worked on and your, your spirit, your soul is stuck here? Dude, I just heard something over there. Really? Yes, legit. Are you watching us? Are you paying attention to us? We're friendly, we just want to talk to you. What was that? Was that you? No. You didn't hear that? What was it? Dad. Dad. Are you the male figure that people have seen here? In this doorway? In this room? Go over there. Is somebody in there? I just heard a faint laugh, like... I just heard a faint laugh, like... <gasps> Who's in here with us? Was that you who was just laughing? Yeah. Did you hear that? Yeah. Why are you laughing? Use your energy and speak to us through this device. Did you do that? Oh my god! I have the fattest chills right now. That's exactly what that was. Here, I'm gonna go ahead and sit on these stairs. Okay. And I'm just gonna sit here and ask questions. I'm sitting down here. Feel free to grab onto me. I heard I'm tired twice. Why are you down here? Did you want to come closer to us and make a sound? Let us know you're here. We heard that you had choked somebody down here. Why did you choke them? Okay, we're going to come over to you. What are you doing down here? How many people are down here with us? Four. You heard four? I heard four right away, yeah. Why are you down here? Where's Wyatt? Where's Wyatt? Where's Wyatt? Wyatt's up. Shh. Did you hear that? I heard that. That was right behind. Yeah. Why, why is up? Did you hear that? I heard that. That was right behind. Yeah. Said mean. 
Oh my god, I hope that picked it up. Oh, that definitely. was clean. Can you move one of these chairs and sit down and talk with us? Chair in front. Really? It's a, that's a sound like a sliding. So what was the chair? One of these or one of the slides? It sounded like something sliding. It could have been a stool. Do you know you're dead? Yeah. Is it good? Yes. Oh. Killed. Oh my god! You see that? Yes. What? And I heard that too. Oh my god. Don't be afraid. Knock down that baseball. We're up here. <gasps> right there! There it goes. There it goes, dude!